guys, welcome back to our channel. We are the Poblano family. All right, it's been a very, very long time. I want to say like what, like nine months, can you? Yeah, pretty much since uh, March. Not even March. February. February. Yeah, uh, it's been a long February. time. We haven't posted. Why haven't we posted, babe? Uh, COVID. <laughs> COVID. Uh, so back in February on our last video we had posted um, that we were going to go to Vegas. Uh, it was for our birthday so we were going to do like we were, make, we were going to make it big with like some friends and stuff. We were going to stay over there the weekend get an Airbnb and honestly I feel like 2020 kind of hit us really really hard. Um, pretty much like everybody else and multiple things happened to us unfortunately uh, so we got a uh, four loaf from work I mean we were still employed with them but we were just not getting paid uh, due to COVID because uh, it actually ended up pretty bad and then from there it was March what babe? Uh, March 12 March 12 um, like, something very, very dra drastic happened. Not to me. Uh, I had just gone me? off of work actually, but it was uh, to Cindy and the kids. Me and the little ones back here. Uh, she ended up getting in a tragic accident um, in the Toyota that we had. Uh, it was a full loss vehicle. Uh, there was no way of repairing it actually. I got T-boned. Yeah, she got T-boned like, really, really hard. Uh, up until this day, she tells me not to blame myself, but I still do like inside me. I feel like it was my fault because I shouldn't have told her to go back and just meet me at the park with the kids because we were going to go to the park. Um, and if I feel like if I were to have told her to make a U-turn and go through that downtown then that wouldn't have happened but at the same time like who knows it might have happened later on in the future or something I don't know yeah when you have something coming to you it's gonna come to you regardless doesn't matter if it's the day that it happened if it was like two days after it doesn't matter when but if something's gonna happen it's gonna happen it doesn't so, matter when so um, in this case that's what we told him stop blaming yourself like it was gonna happen. Luckily, uh, the kids didn't get hurt. Unfortunately, I did. Uh, I got most of the hit on my side, and uh, but it was just like bumps, bruises. Part of my inside got swollen, so I was gonna have to be out of work for a while. But or your bones were pretty much fractured. Yeah, like, but I didn't like I didn't need surgery or nothing. I just needed to get uh, some time off of work. Yeah, I was gone for two days from work, but the doctor wanted me to get up to a week. But I didn't want to stay out of work for a week. So luckily, after me going to work, I went to work for two days, and then. Uh, everything closed down so that's when we all had to be home quarantine quarantined uh, so it pretty much this whole time of resting without going to work that's when I recovered I was blessed enough that Jose was off of work for a while so he was there to help me with the kids um, so I recovered uh, I'm not gonna say we were struggling with income because I was still working, um, like a little side hustle, a little side job. But uh, other than that, like, um, like there wasn't, it wasn't the amount, the same amount of money coming in, um, income-wise, due to, uh, like I said, COVID. And then, so after that, I want to say like around late June, early July. Um, don't know the exact date. We we're blessed uh, with another car which is the one we're driving right now um i feel like we got a pretty good deal and um 
driving, God forbid something happens to us, but uh, no matter how safe you're driving, other there's going to be idiots driving. Um, and actually, Cindy does have pictures of the, of the vehicle. It was pretty bad. Uh, Cindy did take the hit. I was stuck uh, in the car. She was stuck in the car. They needed to pry the car open because the airbags and everything, they were, uh, everything was uh, uh, pretty much done so. So that happened back in March. We got a new car in June, late Ju uh, early July. And then I actually got called from back to work. Uh, from July? July, right? Yep. So I've been working since. Um, God blessed us again once more. Just recently, actually, I got my promotion uh, where I work at, and like right now, it's, it's a, we're still getting a little used to it. It's a little tough right now because due to that promotion, I need, I, I need to start working um, um, afternoon shift, night shift. Uh, that's what we call it, from three to midnight when. Uh, I was going in before at, from 5 to 2. Uh, so we're still getting used to it. Uh, it's a little uh, tough because like, we have opposite schedules now for work and uh, we're just trying to make it for the best. But So we just want to make this little quick reintroduction video of uh, what has been going on this whole time and um, uh, pretty much we're going to take it from there, Hobbit. Guys, since the last time you guys saw the kids, they were little. They're not little no more. There's Junior. Junior, can you say hi? Say hello. And then Monse, say hi, baby. So now they are four and two. Big babies. Big babies. We now have two toddlers in the house. Well, technically, Monta is still a toddler. Junior is a preschooler now. He will be, like, blessed enough to go to school next year. So hopefully everything settles down and like, they don't have to do like the whole distant learning. Because I feel like kids need to re like, they need to interact with other kids, like learn in person, not through the computer. But that's just me. Parents, other parents can think otherwise. But hopefully all this calms down and we go back to our regular normal life. So, I don't know, we'll see. All right guys, bye.